Okay, in this video I'm going to give you an overview of the rest of the chapter, uh, which is primarily focused around the limitations of Lewis theory and how we are going to overcome them. So um, the first thing you have to realize is that in Lewis theory all the electrons in the covalent bonds are not uh, are shared equally. So in Lewis theory electrons in covalent bonds are shared equally. And we know this isn't really the case. So we need a way to account for that. So we're going to discuss later the idea of bond polarity. And how we can think about that within the framework of Lewis theory. Uh, another limitation is that sometimes you can draw more than one Lewis structure that's valid. So more than one Lewis structure might exist. And you need to come up with a way to figure out what the correct Lewis structure is or to gain a more uh, nuanced understanding of what the real molecule looks like. Uh, so there are a couple um, additions to Lewis theory that we're going to talk about in other lectures. Uh, so one thing is known as resonance and another is known as formal charge. So this is going to help us overcome this limitation. So this stuff is going to help us, and we're going to learn a little more about it in the next lecture. Uh, three. Uh, so I've touched on this briefly already, but I'm going to get into more details. Uh, not everything follows the octet rule, so there are some uh, limit. There are some exceptions we need to worry about, and I'll teach you how to think about those. So not always octets. So I've talked about this already, but there's incomplete octets and expanded octets. And I'm going to show you some examples of those. And then finally, uh, another limitation is the type of information we can get from Lewis theory. So there's actually no quantitative info given. It's all pretty qualitative, uh, meaning you can't really get any numbers from it. Uh, and there's no quantum mechanical effects or detailed information about the electrons. So to account for that, we would need a more complicated model, which we're actually going to talk about in the next chapter. So I just want you to know for now that there's not quantitative, quantitative info. So no quantum mechanics and no details about the electrons. And eventually we're going to look at more complicated models. Uh, but we're going to get into all of that in the next chapter.